My name is Thomas Brott, and I'm a neurologist and a uh, consultant at the Mayo Clinic in Florida. Today we're here to talk about stroke, and I'm pleased to say that one of the great successes with American medicine and medicine worldwide has been the prevention of stroke and other cardiovascular diseases. Over the last 30 years, the rate has been cut in half. Um, strokes are caused by problems with the heart, problems with blood vessels in the neck, particularly narrowing, and problems with blood vessels in the brain. Today, we're focusing on the neck, where the carotid arteries deliver most of the blood to the brain to nourish the neurons. When those arteries are narrowed, particularly when the narrowing gets greater than 70%, that can lead to a stroke. In the CREST trial, we compared treatments of carotid artery narrowing. The conventional treatment, which is carotid surgery, where the surgeon opens up the artery and takes out the blockage. We compared the surgery to carotid stenting, where one takes a balloon and opens up the blockage and then puts a cage-like tube to keep the artery open, a carotid stent. We showed in Crest that those two treatments are exceedingly safe, and we think that they're very effective. But we didn't have a comparison group to the alternative, which is that success story. The medicines that we take to control blood pressure, to control cholesterol, to control diabetes, they're wonderful in preventing stroke and in preventing heart attack. So CREST 2 then is to go to the next step. These two safe procedures, surgery and stenting, are they as effective as modern medical therapy applied intensively and consistently to the patient groups? So CREST 2 now funded by the National Institutes of Health and directed here at Mayo Clinic in Florida, will compare the interventional approach to the medical approach. It's important, important with regard to prevention of stroke, and in this country about 100,000 procedures, either surgery or stenting, are done every year. If they work, which we think they do, then that's important to know. If medicine, which is getting better and better, works just as well, that's equally important to know. And that's why the National Institutes of Health is supporting this trial, CREST 2 at Mayo Clinic with the data center at Alabama, University of Alabama at Birmingham, and then performed at 120 medical centers around the United States and Canada.